26 SNES games celebrate 30 years in February 2024. We've played them all to separate the gems from the junk, saving you time and money. Here are the top 10 February SNES games. Legend of the Scarlet King, Off with the Monsters, is a unique RPG and real-time strategy game with a captivating storyline, diverse characters and a rich score. The game follows Richard A. McIntyre, the Scarlet King, who survives a coup and escapes to a castle where he meets Beatrix, a dryad who grants him the power to summon and control demons. With his new allies, he embarks on a quest to reclaim his throne and avenge his comrades. The story unfolds through dialogue, cutscenes and branching paths, leading to multiple endings based on your choices. Gameplay is split into exploration and combat modes. In exploration, you can interact with the environment and characters and access the menu to equip items, summon demons, save the game and adjust settings. Combat features a morale system affecting performance in battle and involves controlling Richard and his demons in real-time grid-based battles, requiring strategic resource management and positioning. The game is challenging, with no hand-holding or difficulty settings, requiring patience, attentiveness and strategic thinking, with permadeath adding to the complexity. Graphics are impressive with detailed sprites, backgrounds and animations. Its dark, gothic art style and variety of creatures create an immersive atmosphere and cinematic effects enhance the presentation. Sound effects are realistic and the music sets the pace and atmosphere, complementing the graphics and gameplay. Performance is smooth and glitch-free with a responsive control scheme and features a user-friendly interface, quick load times and a flexible save system, securing your progress with its battery backup. Replayability is high, stemming from its extensive content and variety, boasting a branching storyline with multiple endings, a diverse roster of customizable demons, numerous secrets to discover, and its random encounter system and difficulty curve keep the gameplay challenging and rewarding. The game's charm is evident in its witty dialogue, quirky characters, and numerous Easter eggs. Overall, Legend of the Scarlet King, Off with the Monsters, is a unique blend of role-playing and real-time strategy. Its dark storyline, diverse characters and rich musical score make it a standout. With impressive graphics, stable performance and high replay value, it offers a challenging yet rewarding experience for those seeking something different in gaming. Legend of the Scarlet King Off With The Monsters gets a So Many Games score of 7.3. Top Management 2, the sequel to the 1991 game, Top Management, is a business simulation game offering you the opportunity to manage various businesses, such as manufacturing, retail or entertainment, in a dynamic and realistic market. The game is rich in depth and strategy, requiring you to handle various aspects of business management, including finances, production, marketing, research and human resources. You can customise your products and services, set prices and budgets, hire and fire employees and expand or downsize operations. Different scenarios and goals are offered, such as starting a new business, reviving a failing one or becoming the market leader. Top Management 2 is challenging and realistic, requiring you to navigate market fluctuations, customer demands, employee morale and competitors' actions. You must carefully plan strategies, constantly monitor performance, adapt to changing situations and seize risks and opportunities. It's rewarding and satisfying, as you can see the results of your decisions and actions, achieving your objectives and milestones. As you might imagine, the game is complex and demanding, requiring you to handle a lot of information and calculations, balance resources and priorities, manage time and money, cope with problems and crises, and crises indeed, and overcome difficulties and obstacles. It can be stressful, as you can lose money and reputation and fail your goals and missions. Graphics and sound are decent, but not impressive. A top-down perspective and a menu-based interface are used, which are functional but not very appealing. The graphics are colourful and clear, but not very detailed or varied, and the sound is catchy and upbeat, but not very diverse or immersive. Performance and replayability are good but not outstanding. The game runs smoothly and fast, but also has some low times and glitches, and offers a lot of content and variety, but also a lot of repetition and similarity. There's a password system and a battery backup save feature with a limited number of slots. 
Overall, Top Management 2 is a well-made and enjoyable business simulation game, but it's also niche and obscure. It's a great choice for fans of the genre, but maybe challenging for casual players. Top Management 2 gets a so many game score of 7.4. Street 2 Pink Coloured Neon Sign is a multiplayer board game akin to Monopoly. You traverse the board, acquiring properties and returning to the start, it incorporates gambling elements like slot machines, roulette and card games, influencing your fortunes. The game doesn't follow a storyline but is rich in character and humour, featuring 16 unique characters, each with their own dialogue and random events that add spice and humour to the gameplay. It's a turn-based game for up to four players, human or computer controlled, with six different boards, three difficulty levels and various customization options, offering an engaging and addictive experience. You must balance finances, investments and risks in a game that's unpredictable and exciting, with fortunes that can change in a single turn. It's also a social game, allowing you to chat, trade and either cooperate or compete. The game is challenging, requiring strategy and luck, and is not easy to master due to its many rules and mechanics. It's unforgiving, with you potentially losing everything in an instant, depending on dice rolls and gambling outcomes, leading to a competitive and tense atmosphere. Graphics are simple yet colourful, with detailed animations, a variety of board designs, character sprites and gambling machines. The interface is intuitive with easy to read menus. Sound is catchy, upbeat and full of melodies and effects with a lively atmosphere that matches its mood and tone and voice samples which add humour and personality. Performance is smooth and free of glitches or bugs, offering fast, responsive gameplay with no delays. The game offers high replay value with its variety and options, featuring 6 unique boards and 16 characters, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. Random and dynamic elements make each game unique and unpredictable, and social aspects enhance enjoyment and engagement. Overall, Top Street 2 Pink Coloured Neon Sign is an original addictive board game that blends Monopoly-like gameplay with gambling elements. It's charming and humorous, with a lot of personality and style. While it can be complex and frustrating, it's a must-play for board game and casino fans. Top Street 2 Pink Coloured Neon Sign gets a so many game score of 7.4. Bill Walsh College Football is an American college football game offering 24 teams to choose from, each with unique strengths and weaknesses. You can compete in a 12-game season or a 16-team playoff, or even create your own custom team and players. While there's no set storyline, you can create your own narrative by tracking your team's progress and aiming for the championship. The game also offers insights into American college football history and trivia. Gameplay is realistic and engaging, mirroring the rules and strategies of college football. You can control your team on offence and defence, execute various players and formations and adjust your game plan as needed. The game also features a battery backup to save your season and custom team data. Difficulty varies based on the skill level you choose, the team you select and the opponent you face. It offers four skill levels and the higher the skill level the more challenging the game becomes. There's a realistic injury system that can affect your player's performance. Graphics are decent using a side scrolling perspective for field action and a top down view for player selection and formation and you may experience some flickering and slowdown issues especially when there are many players on the screen. Sound is mediocre with digitised speech and sound effects like the referee's whistle and crowd cheers. However, the speech is muffled and the sound effects are repetitive and the game lacks music except for the title screen and game end. Performance is acceptable but not smooth, running at a decent speed but can slow down or freeze during intense action. It also has bugs and glitches such as disappearing players and incorrect stat recording. Replayability is high but not varied. It offers many options and features like season and playoff modes, custom team and player creation. However, it can become repetitive due to the lack of diversity in gameplay and graphics. Overall, Bill Walsh College Football attempts to encapsulate the excitement of American college football but falls short in several areas. It has good points like realistic gameplay and custom team creation but also flaws like mediocre graphics and sound, 
poor performance and lack of variety. It's recommended for hardcore fans of college football or Bill Walsh or collectors of rare games. For others, there are more enjoyable games on the platform. Bill Walsh College Football gets a so many games score of 7.5. First down. In Bugs Bunny, Rabbit Rampage, you guide Bugs Bunny, the carrot-loving rabbit, through a perilous world crafted by an enigmatic artist. You'll meet familiar faces from Looney Tunes like Your Set Me Sam and Daffy Duck in this 2D platformer blending action, adventure and humour. The storyline is simple yet inventive, true to Looney Tunes style. The identity and motives of the artist remain a mystery, but your mission is clear. Thwart him and his creations. The game's charm is enhanced by humorous cutscenes and dialogues. The gameplay spans 10 diverse levels, each with its own theme, foes, items and goals. You can kick, throw and use items like pies and bombs to vanquish enemies. Discover secret rooms and bonus stages for extra challenges and rewards. The game is peppered with references and jokes that Looney Tunes fans will love. This isn't an easy game. Some levels are lengthy and require trial and error, and some adversaries and bosses are tough to beat and, with limited lives and saves only after level completion, the game can be frustrating. Graphics feature colourful cartoon-like textures and sprites, with well-animated characters and enemies, and detailed levels. However, some backgrounds can be bland and repetitive. Sound is good with amusing, fitting effects and music that echo Looney Tunes style, although some sound, like Bugs Bunny's Bounce, can be redundant. Performance-wise, the game runs smoothly with no major glitches, slowdowns or input lag. Replayability is low, as there's very little to do after completion. There are no difficulty settings, alternate endings, extra modes or multiplayer options. Replay is only for finding secrets or improving scores. Overall, Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage will delight Looney Tunes and 2D platformer fans with its fun, humorous experience that embodies the spirit of the cartoons. It boasts a creative storyline, varied gameplay and cartoon-like presentation. Despite its short length, lack of structure, unmemorable graphics, sound and music and low replay value, it is a well-made, entertaining game worth trying. Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage gets a so many game score of 7.7. .7. In Excalibur 2097, you play as Slash, a special agent in a post-apocalyptic future, on a mission to stop the tyrant Raptor and rescue your partner, Alex. The plot is simple with cutscenes between levels. You fight through six stages, each with a unique boss who reveals information about Raptor's plans. The story is straightforward, but lacks originality, and the dialogue is cheesy. Gameplay is similar to games like Contra or Strider. You use your sword, Excalibur, to slash enemies, block attacks, and perform special moves. There's also a special attack that unleashes a powerful blast. There are one and two player modes where you can play as any boss. It's fun, but can be repetitive and frustrating due to uneven difficulty and occasional hit detection issues. Graphics are impressive with detailed sprites, backgrounds and effects. The game has a dark, futuristic atmosphere with varied environments. However, there are some flaws like black borders and choppy animation. Excalibur 2097 boasts a techno soundtrack by 90s band Psychosonic and the catchy, energetic music changes with the game's situations. Sound effects include sword slashes and explosions, but can be annoying when hit or dying. Performance-wise, it runs smoothly with no major glitches, has a safe feature but suffers from long load times, occasional freezes and sound distortion. Replayability is moderate, it offers one-player and two-player modes, secrets and hidden items. However, its short length, lack of variety and high difficulty can be off-putting. Overall, Excalibur 2097 is a decent game with good graphics, sound and gameplay, but a weak story and uneven difficulty. It's not a must-have, but worth a try for genre fans. Excalibur 2097 gets a so many games score of 7.7. .7.
ASP Airstrike Patrol is a thrilling game that places you in a fighter jet cockpit tasked with halting a dictator's conquest. Drawing inspiration from the first Gulf War, it aims to emulate the tension of modern warfare. The narrative unfolds through briefings and radio messages. As an airstrike patrol pilot, you undertake critical missions facing threats like enemy aircraft, tanks and missiles. Your actions have political and humanitarian consequences, influencing public opinion and morale. The gameplay blends action and strategy as you pilot your aircraft, engage targets and dodge enemy fire. Different planes with unique attributes and loadouts are available and resource management is crucial as ammo, fuel and health can deplete. Missions must be completed within a time limit, adding to the challenge. Difficulty is adjustable, influenced by factors like mission type, aircraft, weather and enemy strength. It's fair but can be unforgiving, especially for novices. Graphics use Mode 7 technology for a 3D effect and the detailed visuals include varied terrains, buildings and weather effects. However, they can be overwhelming when the screen is crowded with enemies and projectiles. ASP Airstrike Patrol offers a decent functional sound design. The soundtrack complements the game's mood and sound effects include engine noises, weapon sounds and radio chatter. Voice samples are present but muffled. The game performs smoothly with no major bugs or glitches and features a battery backup for saving progress. However, performance can lag when the screen is busy. Replayability is moderate. You can experiment with different planes, weapons and strategies to improve your score and rank. Cheat options and hidden features add variety and fun, making the game addictive for genre fans. Overall, ASP Airstrike Patrol provides a realistic, thrilling fighter jet experience. It has strengths like graphics and gameplay, but also weaknesses like sound and repetition. It's great for fans of shoot 'em ups and flight simulators and deserves more recognition. ASP Airstrike Patrol gets a so many game score of 7.9. Sensible Soccer European Champions is part of the acclaimed Sensible Soccer series and lets you experience football with over 150 European national and club teams and various international tournaments. There's no set storyline. Instead, you create your own narrative by leading your chosen team to victory in different modes and cups. Gameplay is simple yet deep, with intuitive controls using a directional pad and a single button for actions like passing and shooting. Realistic ball physics and player movements add to the authenticity. Difficulty varies with your opponent's skill level and the chosen mode, with four levels ranging from amateur to sensible. Higher difficulties mean more skilled computer players and stricter foul calls, and a handicap option helps balance matches between players of different levels. Graphics are vibrant and appealing, with a cartoon-like style and top-down view. You'll see a variety of stadiums and weather conditions, and detailed sprites for players, referees and spectators. A zoom function lets you adjust your view of the action. Sensible Soccer European Champions offers a lively sound experience with catchy tunes, realistic sound effects and optional voice commentary that adds excitement to matches. Performance is smooth and fast with no noticeable glitches and a battery backup feature lets you save and resume your progress. Replayability is high with a wealth of content and modes to explore. You can play with different teams, adjust difficulty levels and even create custom teams and tournaments. Try to win all the trophies and cups or challenge your friends in multiplayer matches. Overall, Sensible Soccer European Champions is a classic football game that stands out for its simple yet addictive gameplay, realistic simulation and charming presentation. It's considered one of the most influential football games of all time, making it a must have. Sensible Soccer European Champions gets a so many game score of 8.1 Super Fire Pro Wrestling 3 Easy Type immerses you in the world of professional wrestling and offers a variety of modes, characters and moves catering to all wrestling enthusiasts. As you might expect, there is no storyline, focusing instead on gameplay and match customization. You can choose from 64 wrestlers, each with unique moves and styles, or create your own wrestler. The rules, arena, referee, and time limit for each match are also customizable. 
Gameplay is based on a timing based wrestling engine. You need to press the buttons at the right moment to execute moves which depend on your health and stamina, indicated by bleeding and recovery time as well as your opponents. You must wear down your opponent before you can pin them or make them submit. The game features various match types, each with unique rules and hazards. Super Fire Pro Wrestling 3 Easy Type is designed to be more accessible than previous Fire Pro series entries, making it suitable for newcomers and casual players. You can adjust the difficulty setting according to your preference and skill level, however, mastering the timing and moves requires practice and patience. Graphics, while not very impressive for a 16-bit game, do have some nice touches like blood effects, crowd reactions and wrestler entrances. However, it does suffer from some technical issues like flickering and slowdown, especially when there are more than two wrestlers on the screen. Sound, one of the game's best aspects, features a diverse soundtrack and realistic sound effects that enhance the game's immersion. Although there's no voice acting, there is Japanese text and dialogue which might be confusing for some. Performance is smooth, and it has a battery backup feature for saving progress and custom wrestlers, and while it lacks multiplayer or online features, a two-player mode is available with a second controller. The game offers high replay value with a variety of modes, wrestlers and matches. There's also secrets and unlockables to discover, adding to its longevity, and your performance is tracked and recorded in each mode through a ranking system. Overall, Super Fire Pro Wrestling 3 Easy Type is a fun and addictive game with a lot to offer. Despite some flaws like poor graphics and the removal of the Creator Wrestler mode, it's a must try for fans of the Fire Pro series or wrestling games in general. Super Fire Pro Wrestling 3 Easy Type gets a So Many Games score of 8.1. Uncharted Waters New Horizons is a 16th century strategy RPG which allows you to be a trader, pirate, explorer, diplomat, treasure hunter or naval officer, shaping your destiny in a vast world. Sail the seven seas, visit 100 plus ports, trade goods, fight battles, discover new lands and interact with historical figures. The storyline varies with your chosen character, all revolving around exploring the unknown and pursuing dreams. Each character has a unique personality, background and objective, encountering different events, challenges and allies. The stories range from personal to epic, involving global conflicts and conspiracies, and feature historical and fictional elements like the Spanish Armada, Ottoman Empire, Fountain of Youth and Atlantis. Gameplay is a mix of strategy, simulation and RPG. Customise your ship, hire a crew, trade goods, invest in ports, take quests and engage in naval combat. Explore a world map based on real geography, improve skills and attributes, learn new abilities and interact with other characters. Difficulty depends on your playstyle and goals. You can play casually or strive to complete objectives and overcome rivals. Random factors like weather, encounters and events can affect your progress. Graphics are decent and colourful and feature varied environments and locations, smooth sprites and animations and clear menus and interfaces. Sound is pleasant, having catchy music tracks and realistic sound effects, and performance is smooth, glitch-free and supports battery backup and multiple save files. Replayability is high, offering different choices, routes and outcomes. You can explore the world at your own pace and discover hidden content. This is a strategy RPG masterpiece, taking you on a 16th century journey, offering depth, variety, freedom and replayability, featuring historical and fictional elements. Graphics and sound are decent, and performance is flawless. Difficulty is fair, balanced, yet challenging. It's complex, rewarding and fun, and a must-play for strategy simulation or RPG fans. Uncharted Waters New Horizons gets a So Many Games score of 8.3. Let us know your views on the top 10 February SNES games. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and share. Remember to look out for our next video, the top 10 March Mega Drive Genesis games.